I can't believe you're making me cook. I'm 35, you know. Man should know how to cook. Dad taught me how to shoot a gun. <laughs> you can't eat a gun. No, I can order pizza, though. This is good Ukrainian stew. Oh, no, no, no. You have to peel them. Over there. Over there. Oh, we're out of salt. Right. You get me some. In a bit. Now. Yes, ma. <laughs> This is good Ukrainian stew. What's the matter? He want revenge. I want revenge too. But I, I tell you, as new head of family, not yet. It is a poor decision, and one that may have dire repercussions. Look, that is just your opinion. You do not decide how to There's no it. need to get emotional. I'm not emotional. A seat of power suits women ill. Maybe we should seek Oleg's successor elsewhere. I... you're gonna... Dad respected you. We won't forget that. But if you ever talked out to my mother again, I'll bash your fucking skull in. You got that? To get a treat. To get a good.
Nice hair. Don't usually like bald women. I'm glad to be an exception. So you're Rose. Now, don't be offended, Rose, but I don't trust you. Timo boy said you're straight. But Timo boy's a cunt, and I don't trust cunts. You a cunt? I don't think so. But obviously, I'm biased on the matter. That's funny. I like that. You know, I've been thinking about Richie. Mm. He's always been good, trustworthy. How long has he worked for us? Mm, a long time. Mm, nice. Well, since we're doing what do you call it, restructuring, I thought I might consider. I mean, I know it's not just about time, but still. You mean giving him the mark? He's earned it. Yes. He has. We need help. Jim S. Solicitor and financial advisor at your service. Before we begin, I have a question. How fond of your kneecaps are you? Can you repeat what we tell you? Ah, client confidentiality. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I can't pass what you tell me on to the blue boys. My husband left a business, good business, but the paperwork. <laughs> Certainly, no problem. But just so I know, what are we talking here? You guys dodge a bit of the old queen's tax, or are you the drug dealing, murder, plunder, rape kind of fellows? Not rape. But yeah. Wonderful. Shall we get started? We'll create a beautiful spreadsheet. Track all our income streams in minute detail. Who delivers? Hmm? How often? How much is the amount consistent? Then we'll sort all the income by category. Booze, drugs, guns, extortion, gambling, and so forth. Yeah? Stop! What, did I...? You don't write on the window. Use paper like normal person. When you're laundering money, the keys to it are, one, primarily it needs to be cash-driven, two, make sure that it probably has a strong year-to-year -year income variation. Nearly an actual laundrette. <laughs> Almost poetic justice, don't you think? <laughs> Just without the poetry, all the justice. What's going on here? Ah, just the woman we were looking for. Um, is this somewhere private where How we... How much? Well, pricing's on the machine, four pounds for normal, five pounds for the place. How much? <laughs> Sorry, I think you're mistaken. I'm not saying. Is there somewhere private where we can talk? Looks like we found the missing money. Yes? Tim's been arrested. The police caught him selling guns at the harbour. Let him sweat till Wednesday. When you pick him up, tell him we'll take 10% off his cut for two months. No, how do you put it? He's not eligible for bail, on account of the judge said there's a risk he might interfere with witnesses before the trial. Trial? Did they get our shipment? No. 
He's been selling stuff on the side himself. That was how they... Fucking fought. Tim. Do you know what I'd do to you if you were Tim? Hi. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, Quiet! <laughs> Sorry, Mum. How bad is this? Ouch. Well, he's our only weapon smuggler, so that's 15% off our total. <sighs> we'll miss him dearly. Let's put it like that. If you're looking for... If you're looking for a replacement, I mean, temporary or otherwise, there's this chick that I've heard good things about. Who is she? Well, you know the McGoverns. Mm. They're a similar problem to us. Yeah, smaller scale, but... Apparently she managed to get them what they needed in less than a week. Check her out. If she comes good, take her to me. <sighs> Listen. I know it's probably not the best time. Plenty of problems, and like you said, strategically, it's probably better to... But still. Dad. I just... The walk around free as a bird, and we don't even know who. It kills me. You have no idea. But me and Richie could... You know, look into it before the trail goes cold, you know what I mean? How would it work it out in a year or whatever? Look, we, we hit them, they hit us. I mean, right now. Could we survive that? Yeah, but as Gunnar said, we need to show oh, that we're strong. We'll agree with Gunnar. There's a point there, whoever made it. You're talking about postponing, but really, is there ever a good time to start a conflict? But you are just talking about postponing, right? <clears throat> What do you want me to do with the... after? Leave it. Them. Just leave them. New girls outside. Send her in. Hey, G. Meet Gertrude. Gertrude. Meet A.G. You're young. You're old. Why A.J.? Because Richie thinks he's funny. And? He's not. Why A.J.? You can call me Rose. Why are you here, Rose? Richie said you wanted to see me. You're a good smuggler. I don't like to brag, but... Here. Taste this. Ukrainian stew. Mushrooms must be fresh. That's good. <laughs> don't be polite. No, I thought... Too much salt. Salt is like thrust. Too little adds some more, but put too much somewhere and... I put too much salt in my stew. But when it comes to trust... Give it time. Have a wooden Why are you here? Richie said you wanted to see me. You already said that. I don't follow. No, you don't. We only work with smart people here. Maybe you should leave. OK, I'm here because your last guy was a fuck-up and got himself arrested. How smart was that? Not very. What was he bringing in before then? A hundred pieces a month, if that? You could do better. Don't insult me. Chop those finely. Gertrude. Hi. 
I was... <clears throat> I was just looking for my phone. This one? Cheers. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> ah. I pay more to have a superior user experience and the <laughs> immediate access to you. I've probably like waiting six months for after me. What, five years ago, that being sense, maybe. Oh, yeah, whatever, Come on, the problem with that thing is the chip. It just doesn't have enough power for VR and augmented reality. Snapdragon. Uh, so I said, uh, this has been an inconvenient moment, and, and Max yells, it's short as fuck, isn't it? Last year I was embarrassed by my glasses, but no more. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone for being here. And I do not mean just for party. Last year was a tough year. And it meant a lot to me to have the support of such good and strong people like you. Thanks. Not you, Mace. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean everybody. Everybody here has helped in some way. I mean, some in small ways, some in big ways. But everyone helped. Except one person. Someone used Oleg's death to steal from family while it was weak. You know who you are. I know who you are. <laughs> now stand up. So everyone else can know too. No! I... Such a soft, weak man. Now crawl away and don't come back. I said crawl. Power and strength are not the same thing. You are a weak woman, Gertrude. And they all know it. Not for us. 
if, if they are tired, it is because they work hard. If we are tired, it is because we are soft, weak, always weak. Edimo. Mm. Want me to come? Sorry, love. This one's family members only, yeah? The crew's talking. So? Let them talk. They keep asking questions and I don't know what to say to them. Tell them to shut up and get back to work. Oh, I think that's a good way to inspire morale. I think money is a good way to inspire morale. You can't buy loyalty, you oh, know don't that. don't be a boy. You're angry because I won't do what you want me to. No, I'm angry because you won't tell me why. Because he's dead. And nothing you do or I do will stop him from being dead. And it would cost us everything we have rebuilt. For what? To shoulder, to shoulder it mattered that he mattered. Oh, do you think he's down there looking up, uh, disappointed, thinking, why didn't you revenge me? Words in my mouth. That's not what I'm... Well, you think he's gone to hell? Oh, I don't believe it. No, that. but if you did... I don't! I'll take that as a yes. Oh, take it as you want. I have to go. What, what is your plan here, Age? You think I'll stop bringing this shit up? Our house is I burning! I have to put out fire! And exactly what fire needs to be put out today? Our expansion east is failing. Hmm? Uh, we're losing turf war in Manchester. Our importers are diluting product, and our dealers are skimming off the top. Arthur is struggling to keep the bank accounts clean. Oh, and some Mudak politician wants to double the security on the Channel Tunnel because he thinks it's been used for smuggling drugs. And since he's right, that would be very, very bad for us. I don't care. Yes, well, I have to. That's why I've got to go. Did you do it? Was it you? You used to be good, son. What happened? My dad was killed and my mum did nothing. You didn't give me an answer. I won't answer an insult like that. Really wish she would. <laughs> Not now, mate. What? Jim just phoned the story during at Greenwich, the big one. The police are reading it. What did they get? The law. Everything. <laughs> Fucking shy. Get Jim. You want to talk about this now? Yeah. What do you want me to say? Hmm? What can I tell you that would make you happy? The me and Richie can look into Dad's murder as soon as... And I mean, right the fucking second we get control of the warehouse situation. And that you'll give me the men I need to sort out whatever you find out. Okay. 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 Who was it that knew about the Greenwich lockup? You, me, Jim, maybe three others. Why? You think someone talked? No. No one talked. We must have made a mistake. Yes, you're right. We must be more careful.
Someone with easy access to the office, but who? Jim's gone. I went round the pubs, nobody's seen him. I went to his place, it's been cleared out. He's buggered off. Find him. Come on, Jim, what were you doing in these? What were you trying to hide for? We caught him. We're in shit glasses and a fake moustache. I didn't know the tickets of Uzbekistan on his phone. Can it Uzbekistan? Yeah, they, they, they don't have an extradition agreement with the UK. I, I, <laughs> you put microphone in my office. A microphone? I don't know what you're talking about. Answer that. Listen to me. I don't know what happened. Yeah, but they found your stash, which means they're, they're on to you and they have me for God knows how long. Look, the only reason you're not in jail now is because they're building a case against you. We need to run, okay? Abandon ship, flee now! Why would you run without telling anyone? Well, I panicked. I thought you'd run too. You didn't fucking ring us straight away, though, did you? Eh? Maybe you want a head start, eh? Better we get caught than you. Not Jim. Don't let his begging and whining. I mean, who else could they? And he tried to do a runner. If that's not a confession, I don't know what is. He has the balls of a pup. He could not have placed a pin. Look you, if not. They think I am soft, woman. With soft heart. I should have killed Gunnar. People are sheep. Bach, and I'll go where you want them. Send them a message. A meeting? Yes, here, tomorrow. Make everyone come. Very important meeting. I'll make sure of it. Mm. Then we will see who... and make everyone else see what happens. This microphone was found yesterday in my office. I hope someone is still listening so they can hear how we handle these things. But first, let us see if we have any other uninvited guests here today.
fuck's that? That's not mine. That's not mine. Show's over. I hope both our live audience and those listening at home understand how we do these things. Found. I didn't think anything of it then, but now... Max, I have to talk to you. No, please don't go. Shit. No, no, don't, don't. Max.
to figure a drink, but you don't. Today I do. He'll calm down, you know. You had no choice. He pushed me. What? Max. And the... I fell. Did he hurt you? No, no, he would not. Not like his... Not that you could blame him with his genes. His genes? Half is from me. <laughs> that is how it works. Your husband, he never... I'm meddling. <laughs> Too much of the good stuff. I wondered if you could add. Maybe show her that you cooked that dish, you know, especially one with the mushrooms. Thanks. Go pick some. Primary school in Gloucestershire, secondary school in Bromley. It's done a year there for college as well before dropping out. Oh, that's so badass. So have you found a name for your secret identity? Margaret. Jesus, that's boring. <laughs> Absolutely not. This is my sister's safety we're talking about. Oh, I like this one. Mm, it's 
start of focus. How about we call you... Wait, who are those from? Ugh. Michael. He wishes. He, he wish he bought you roses. Oh, shut up, you logic monster. Who then? No, not Peter. You know it. What? I thought you hated him for his whole having a wife thing. But my wife is no more. He left her for moi. And you're only telling me this now? When did he... No, when did oh, you... Only a few weeks ago. Weeks, as in plural. <sighs> and here I am telling you every detail of my life story. No, oh, I love your belgy face so much. I just don't want you to always piss me off. <laughs> so, any prior convictions? Sure, some petty theft. Oh, and once for having a go at a traffic warden after giving me a parking ticket. But other than that, never spent more than one night in a can. Any hobbies? I like sports, clubbing, going to the movies. Bowling is highly underrated. Political inclinations? Conservative. People should look after themselves. Family? None. Any child. Parents died in a car crash when I was younger. Food allergies? Milk is a child, but I grew out of it. Do you cook? No, because I'm so good at it. Do you ever play football? Throughout secondary school. Position? Right back. You guys win anything? It's common not to remember stuff, especially from your childhood. Just roll with that. Yeah. You did fine. Just one thing. Don't you have a sister? Rose doesn't. No, I mean, any particular reason why you changed this? Yeah. Right then. Ready for your first mission? Jonathan Truman. A small timer, but he's been pushing around enough counterfeit jewelry that we'd like to lock him up. We need somebody to meet with him and buy some stuff. No need for a recording or anything. A testimony will do here. Sure. But I don't trust you. Timo boy said you're straight. The Timo boy's a cunt, and I don't trust cunts. You a cunt? I don't think so. But obviously, I'm biased on the matter. That's funny. I like that. It's all yours. You think I'm stupid? No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't think you're stupid. Think I can't smell a pig when I see one? No, 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 no. A, a pig? What are you talking about? I get it. You think I'm a fucking cunt? No, 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 no. I don't. You made it very, very clear. You do not like cunts. And, 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 Never and, seen you around and, before. No one and, has. And, and, Suddenly you turn up and it seems a bit too. Well, you don't want to talk. Desperate. We can just walk away. Let's just walk, walk away. Walk away. Yes. You know how I've never got caught. What? I've got a good nose and you stink. Mm. You are not walking away. Do you think I'm fucking dumb, do you? I don't, I don't think you're dumb. You're so obvious. I don't think you're dumb. Let's just Any stop! Words? What am I just supposed to do? Just put the gun down! Just put the fucking gun down and we can talk about this again! Please, I'm begging you! Just put the fucking gun down! You're dead, Lily. So young, what a shame. Andrew, pleased to meet you. Sorry about my language. Fucking hell. You know, this to me did not look like a hardened criminal who's been wrongly accused of being a cop a thousand times and is frankly bored by the whole game now. Looked to me like a newbie cop being busted and pissing herself. Fuck you! I just saved your life, but yeah, fuck me. Yeah, fuck you. Don't worry. Most people fail their first mission. That's why we make sure it doesn't count. Michael's up next. Wanna come see him, fucker? But it's like people that wear matching knickers and matching bra. Like, you, you don't need to match your knickers and your bra. Like, actually, if you do something bright on the top, like yellow and then, like, turquoise with, like, Yeah, but then if you get hit by a car and they have to strip you open, you want to have matching underwear underneath, no? <laughs> I've never thought about that. No, 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 all that stuff, no, 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 too much salt, too much salt, too much salt. Too much salt. you want. Okay. Well, why don't you try it first and then see if it needs any salt? Why is there curry powder here? I've got a little bit inside. 
the curry powder in the soup. Just a pinch. The curry powder fell a bit more than I anticipated. It sort of, I tapped it and then, you know. I've absolutely you nothing about cooking. Right, you Right, you're gonna try it? Nope. I would have been happy to have pizza. Older sister goes first. Oh yeah, but you're the younger sister and I've got more to live for than you. I so feel you like you've been manipulating me into this situation my entire yeah, life and I'm finally putting my foot down. I am bit. not taking it. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, just a little bit cool. I thought we had a conversation about actually getting me a pull-out sofa. Uh, I thought we had a conversation about you actually staying at your house a little bit more. Yeah, but then you wouldn't wake up to your beautiful sister's face every morning. Oh, that would be so, so sad. I know. Oh, and then you wouldn't be able to make me breakfast in bed. Oh, I know. It would be awful. And you know, then the you'd idea have of... to be careful. This kind of mission is a marathon, not a sprint. All of their most trusted members are marked with a black circle. And that's your objective. And it will take a very long time to get them to trust you that much. How about her boy, Max? Too high up. Since his old man passed, Max has been second in command. Richie. Max trusts him. If Richie vouches for me, I'm in. That'll work. We'll plant a story about Rose Walker, a no-nonsense weapon smuggler. Bust their current imports and make them come to you. Rich, here it is. There is one potential issue. The kind of people you'll be infiltrating, there's a good chance that the people around you will be drinking a lot. I'm afraid I'll judge them. More that you'll mirror their actions. I haven't had a drink in 521 days. How many of your agents can say that? Most of my agents wouldn't need to. They'll know a lot. You need to know more. The details are crucial. If you trip up or stutter, they'll suspect you. Now. Tell me about the SIG Sauer. SIG is a Swiss company. The initials stand for Schweizerisch Industrie Gesellschaft, founded in 1860. The name SIG is still commonly heard, especially in relation to the SIG Sauer range. The most popular iteration is the P226ST, due to its reduced recoil. The P226 Weighs 964 grams, holds a standard 9 by 19 pair of Benham cartridges, and inspired other models such as the P228 and 229. The entire range is easy to load, never jams, and is nicely balanced. Good. What about a month ago? What can you tell me about it? Bartender doesn't mind you putting that there. Are you on the place? We? Oui. We'll get to that. What can you tell me about it? It looks cool. But? It looks cool. I don't care about that. Well, maybe you should. Best gun is the one you never have to fire. Until you have to fire. You often in a position where you have to fire your gun? Often enough. How often is that? More often than I'd like. Is that because of the work you do for we? Are you assuming I need a gun for intimidation purposes only? I'm assuming someone who buys a cool-looking gun that can't shoot straight cares more about the gun's appearance and functionality. Well, if I was looking for something purely functional, what would you recommend? A big guy like you? P226? Oh, I prefer the P300. <laughs> and I prefer people who aren't full of shit. The P300 never made it into production. What's your poison? I don't drink poison. How often? Why? Because I used to. Too much and too often. Sounds fun. Was. For a while. Mate, pint and a fizzy water. Wouldn't mind an apple juice. Straight 
strike the water, get it as an apple juice. A well, friend of mine recently went on holiday. Fuck knows when he's coming back. I'm looking to take my business elsewhere. He went on holiday, yeah? You asked too many questions. And you answer too few. You fucked up and got busted. I'd just like to know who I'm dealing with. Richie. Nice to meet you, Richie. Who represents the mysterious we. Nice to meet you too. Miss apple juice. And like I said, you get to the. I hope you enjoy standing in the hallway. It's Richie. I've got friends. Now open up and hurry the fuck up in there. Come on! Fucking time. Well, we know. Indeed we do. Know what? That you're a pig. You're a dirty fucking rat. There's a fucking warrant card, then. And where's the camera, eh? Oh, oh is it? Wow. Cameras and the lights, is it? Hello, Mum! Where's the guns? Eh, you're supposed to sell guns with Hardy. Sloppy. Tut, tut, tut. Did you guys rehearse this in the hallway, or is this all improv? Do you know what this means? It means we're not fucking idiots. Totally. Think we're fucking about? I think this is 45 seconds of my life I'll never get back. <clears throat> Told you she was cool. All right, let's go. Where to? Are you in? Not out. I'll meet you downstairs. Well, I'll be up then. Come on, soft lad. Come on, you lazy bastard. <sighs> right, that'll do me. Rose. Can you go and get the body at the boot of the car? Did you see when you tried to squat with him? <laughs> Super eats like a dry twig. <laughs> oh my God. What a fighter, eh? Hilarious. <laughs> it's our initiation. Uh, I, I saw your Richie's video when we get back. He dragged that fuck up for half a mile before giving up, didn't you? Big fat Bob, the man that eats himself today. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Classic, but based on its shape and size, must have been a grown man. Did you get anything on tape? Sure. 
take the whole thing, interviewed Gertrude while I was at it. She confesses to everything, by the way. We just need to wrap up the paperwork. Look, I don't want to pressure you. But you're going to. We need to show results. I don't need to tell you that we don't have the suit support on this mission. And yet you did. What happened to your whole marathon metaphor? It stands, which is why we need to make sure we're not shut down yet. Take this. It has a mic inside, omnidirectional. It's not as effective as wearing a mic yourself, but it's safer. Safer after it's planted. If you're not up for it. I'm fine. Then stop complaining. Well, I think I'm entitled to a modicum of complaining. Your quota for the next quarter is filled, so zip it. Just get me something I can show the vultures so we can get them off our backs. Richie's taking me somewhere tomorrow. I think he's introduced me to Big Boss Lady. Hopefully we'll set up a test run. Good. We know they need your help, so play reluctant. Remember... Remember, let them chase me. We covered this. Ask for half the money up front. Half? That's 100K. They'll never agree to that. Ask for half and stick to it. They don't have a choice. And take this. See if you can place it somewhere interesting. with smart people here. Maybe you should leave. OK, I'm here because your last guy was a fuck-up and got himself arrested. How smart was that? You could do better. Don't insult me. Chop those finely. I have trust, trust issues. It's a good survival mechanism. What? It's clever to be careful. What could you do for me if I trusted you? Two, three hundred pieces a month, depending on what exactly you're looking for. But I take half the payment up front. I have trust issues of my own. Half is too much. Lots of guns, lots of money. Maybe you run away. Maybe one night I turn a corner and get shot in the face. Maybe you think you can hide. Maybe I have a lot of upfront expenses. Or maybe I've been burned before by clients who have a big appetite when they talk but later lose their nerve. I'm not trying to trick you, I'm not trying to show you who's boss, but you deal with me, you pay half up front. You get what you ordered and you get it on time. I can guarantee that because I pay the people I work with up front so they never mess me around. If you can't accept that, that's fine. It was very nice to meet you. It's home cooking at its best. <laughs> well, uh, I'm tired now, so I, I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, no. Well, good to meet you. Rose. <laughs> Good night. Good night, love. Uh, where's the loo? Uh, through there on the right. He gets delivered on Friday. No, oh, it does. He phone? The same one you've got now? No, the upgrade. <laughs> what, the upgraded the cover? All right, smart ass. It's every six months they bring another one of those things okay, out. Yup, yup, yup. If it was any different to the one that he brought out before, it would be worth well, it. Well, it is. It looks better. Oh, a different colour. What's this shin? Shiny.
Oi. E.G. Have you... What are you doing here? Uh, it's just the ladies. Oh. Have you seen my phone? I heard it ringing earlier, but I can't find it. You can rule out the loop. Everything all right? Wow. This is a bit awkward. In the clutch of the fucking straws here, girl. Taking the fucking piss here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you make lots and lots of money. Yeah. Very good quality. Very big. Yeah, almost, almost, almost not though. Yeah. Oh, well, she thought she'd taken us to the right unit. So we go away to sight. It's for boxes. Yes. Not in the boxes. The boxes are full of conflicts. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's standing in the pool conflicts on the floor. Look at that. Very close. 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 Very Quick, we have another one then. Yes, yes, just one. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> What's the most that you can get for us? Uh, um, same again? Yes. Same again? Yeah. Same again? Same yeah. again? Oh, no, same no, again. No, again. No, no, no. <laughs> Didn't we sleep three o'clock? Yeah, and then you texted last night to postpone a bit. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, rain's a bit slow. Not good. 
Oh, mate, I want to get to pay to buy too. Why are you so chipper? It's funny, isn't it? Felt like I woke up on the right side of the bed this morning. Sometimes you're just in a good mood. Well, that or it's because I just got my first exhibition. Mm. No! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, congratulations. When is it where? Two months from now, just a little gallery in Eastbourne. Probably got ten people show up. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> what? Oh, I know you can't come. I just would have loved for you to have been there. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Anyway, what's going on with Sleeping Beauty? Oh. Already? Oh, don't give me that. It just wasn't as exciting without his wife. Oh, God, I hope they get back together. Honestly, I feel kind of bad. I hope you don't think there's a part where I tell you not to. Actually, you should play nice considering I bought you a gift. You know it's not my birthday, right? Um. Wasn't this mum's? This is too much. I I'm your sister. I'm supposed to watch over you, have your back. Since I can't do that where you are, maybe she can. You know? If you're up there. <laughs> How are things with the. I know you can't tell many details, but. Is everything all right with your project and you? Are you doing OK? Like, really? What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. You don't think I'm OK? Look, maybe we should just talk about something else. So good to finally see you. No, again. I want to know what you meant. Honestly. Honestly? Won't get mad. I'll do my best. It just seems... I can't help but think maybe it's, I don't know, starting to take its toll on your whole thing, which is totally understandable. I mean, I wouldn't last three weeks, let alone three years. Two and a half. You're mad. I'm not mad. You sound mad. Oh, well, yeah, you tend to bring that out in me. What's your point? So you seem a little stretched thin. And? And maybe it'd be good to acknowledge that. Consider it acknowledged. Can't you talk to your superiors or something? I have a lot on my plate. That's what I signed up for. Lee, you've given them three years. Two and a half. And you don't think that's enough? This isn't a fixed-term gig. What, so you're fine saying indefinitely? As long as it takes. And what if that's too much? For what? For you. For me to what? Why don't you just go ahead and ask me the question you've been dying to ask me for the last six months? Are you drinking again? No. Good. Happy? Ecstatic. I can pull you out. Now. We can get in my car and go back to the station together. Do we even have a case? With the photos and reports I've provided up until now, who can we actually get? Don't fucking lie to me. Several of the lieutenants. But Max, Richie, Arthur, people who actually matter? They're only in the family meetings and you're not. I planted that pen in our office damn years ago. Yeah, and that was good work, but it hasn't given us much. Heidi Mikes is like... Throwing darts while you're blindfolded. You never know what you're going to hit. There is another, but it's... You technically don't need to be in the room for us to listen in on it. I told you already I don't have access to the room. How can I plant a mic in a room I can't get into? Plant it on someone who can. It will be there.
Can't you answer your fucking phone? What have you been doing? Sorry, I must have left it on silent. Well, there's a meeting. Gertrude wants everyone to come. Sure, let me just grab my jacket. Actually, while I'm here, can't just grab some water, will you? I'm thirsty as fuck. You've been running around all day trying to chase you lot up. Fucking nightmare happens to grab you lot. Uh, you ready to make a move? You take pictures? Mostly birds, it's just a hobby. Big fucking lens. Looks pro. Yeah, well, you got to zoom, you know, to get close to the birds. How's it going, still fucking pen? Uh, no way, not not before. I just want to edit them. I don't want you thinking I'm worse than I actually am. I won't judge. Yeah, right. So don't we get going? This microphone was found yesterday in my office. First, let us see if we have any other uninvited guests here today. Who the fuck's that? That's not mine. Shh! Yeah, truth, come on. I'm family. Fuck! God, me a freak of family! For fuck's sake, come on. You know that I would never have. It's fucking. Yeah, it's it's fucking hot. I've seen you sneaking about. I saw you act fucking weird. Fuck! My phone was the on silent. Fuck! My phone was the on fucking silent. It was ringing for fuck's sake. Jesus! Fuck! I'll tell you what. I'll fucking rip you apart. Oh, Mark, don't do it. Mike! Don't do it, please. Mike! Please don't do it. Hold this way. Mike! Mike! Please.
Did you ask to see me? Yes. What's going on? Are you ready to join the family? What? Yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Did everyone agree to this? I haven't seen Max since. But yes, everyone agreed. So, let's get started. Uh, are you gonna do it? Yes. Sorry. Deserve worse. He was your friend. And he was good man. But the police had something on him. I don't know what. Sure. Proper test of loyalty. Is it those? Oh, no. <laughs> those would kill you. <laughs> Besides, very bitter. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Here. Yeah. So use knife. And, and don't pull up by root, because that way they will grow back next year. <laughs> the trick is chop very, very finely. Yes, and don't cook too long. That way it tastes better, not mushy. <laughs> I'll show you when we get back. Remember to put the mushrooms in last, and then just leave them. And don't forget the salt. Lots and lots of salt. I didn't think he meant that much to you. Richie. 
or dead. How long have you known? Long enough, I just... Why? Your father was a monster. He hid it, just not from me. Stayed away from the face. Very careful about that. Didn't want his son to know. More lies. No. Think. You're a clever club chick. I'm not a boy. You're my boy. Always. Your dad. Yes. He killed him. Yes. This is going to work. <laughs> You're being charity. I'm not charity at all. Second date, Brighton. Yeah. Okay, I'm worth it now. We could go fairground. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can do that. Fairground. I love the fairground. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Just like old times. <sighs> I think I ruined your couch. <sighs> I think you did. It will never smell the same again. 
It was so beautiful and innocent. R.I.P. Yes, it's a bit late for a confession. Guess it is. Sorry, Em. Really am. For drinking or lying about it? Both. What made you start again? Um, what made you start? Oh, look, I know this headache is self-inflicted, but that makes it no less real. What made you start? The fact that I'm an alcoholic. That's your defence. Didn't realise I was under attack. You were a recovering alcoholic for five years. What made you a relapsing one? There are usually many contributing factors. There's sometimes just one. Look, if you're fishing for a specific answer, why don't you just go ahead and say it yourself? I want to hear you say it. Why? So you can't disagree with it? Um, I've slept for, like, two hours. I can barely sit up straight. Why did you start again? Because of my job. Happy? Conclusion being... That I'm a pitiful sack of shit. That's not my conclusion. Well, I'm done trying to read your mind. My conclusion is that if your job is what made you drink, you need to quit your job before you quit drinking. <sighs> Interesting conclusion. Creative. One can really tell you're an artist. Does your boss know? Maybe. Does he? Why? Because you suggest that my conclusion is illogical, which makes me wonder what someone more in the know will conclude with the same information I have. Is that a threat? Lily, I love you. You're my favourite person in the whole world, and I can't watch you fall apart. Not again, not anymore. You should tell your boss yourself, and I hope you will. But if you don't, then I'm going to. He needs to know. See, I know there was a compliment in there somewhere, but I couldn't quite hear it over the sound of you threatening to get me fired. Can't you see it's fucked up to have to lie to your boss in order to keep your job? I'm not lying. Okay, can't you see it's fucked up to have to keep secrets then? Can't you see this is my life and you have no right to tell me how to live it? I don't tell you how to live yours. The day I let myself into your flat in the middle of the night and puke all over your couch because I fucking relapsed, I promise to welcome any feedback you'll have. Oh, and I had a date, by the way. Went great. He was especially interested after finding my sister lying in her own sick this morning. Sorry I ruined your date. He looked cute. That's not the what? How do you know what he looked like? Doesn't matter. Do you not remember? Have you started blacking up again? Look, I know you're trying to help, but you have no idea what's going on in my life right now. You're right. Yes, I am. I have no idea what's going on with you. Not a clue. No, you don't. And why don't I? Oh, this feels like a trap. It's an honest question. It's not a question. It's a series of breadcrumbs leading me to say something you already planned for me to say before I woke up. And it is getting really old now, so if we could fast forward to you telling me what you actually want me to say, that'd be great. Why don't I have any idea what's going on with you? Because I can't fucking tell you! You can. OK, should we start with the general stress of knowing for the last three years saying the wrong word at the wrong time might get me killed? Or the pressure from my department to deliver some results sooner rather than later because, really, my life being on the line is one thing, but this is starting to cost a hell of a lot of money. Or how about the guy who got his throat cut and gushed blood in my fucking eyeballs while screaming that me, Lily, Rose, was the guilty one? Or how about the son who executed his own mother by luring her into the forest and shooting her in the back of the head with a 37 calibre, which didn't leave her with much of a face afterwards. And then maybe, just maybe, I needed a drink or two afterwards because I was there in the forest and the gun wielder maniac almost saw me. And then I wake up to my sister. The one person I thought I could count on attacking me. So please do tell me where you'd like me to elaborate so you can feel better, because I do understand how much it sucks that I ruined your date and your couch. You can't count on me. Always. I'm your sister. Sure doesn't feel like it. I don't care about the date. I don't care about the couch. I know. I care about you and I'll do what's best for you every time, even if you hate me for it. If you tell my boss, I will. And I really hope you won't make me. No one's making you do anything. If you're gonna stab me in the back, at least stand by it as your own fucking decision. Lily, you need help. It's okay to ask for it. <laughs> buy yourself a couch, bitch, and don't bother making it fall out. Oh, that's a real strong insult. Don't bother making it a pull out. <sighs> Fuck.
Hey. Lily. No permanent injuries. You were lucky. Very. With the amount of alcohol in your blood, I'm impressed you made it off the driveway. What? I'm going to say something you don't want to hear. I'd appreciate it if you didn't argue. You're pulling me out. I should have done it a long time ago by the looks of it. You speak to my sister? She knows you're here. Rather strong-minded character, isn't she? What did she say? She mostly just yelled at me. I like her. She's the best. Well, I must say, I'm pleasantly surprised how well you're taking this. Oh, you actually think you're pulling me out? You're a broken woman. Stressed agent, relapsed alcoholic. But I'm also something else. One meeting. That's all I need. That's all you get. We've hidden a mic inside your pendant. It will record your surroundings. thing I want to talk about. We've been attacked. Again. How do we respond? Surely we can't roll over. See how that plays out. So, let's brainstorm. Rose, who do you think killed my mum? I don't know. None of us do. Give us some potentials. I'd rather not speculate. But you will. For me. OK. I guess we shouldn't rule out the Turks, the Russians, the McGraw family. Indeed, we shouldn't. So, that's it. I'll let you know for the next one. Rose, can I grab you a sec? Sure, just give me a sec. I'll second. be brief. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Sit down. Shut the door on the way out. You want a drink? We'll be back on the wagon again. I lost track. It's a bit early for me. Good for you. So what do you want to talk to me about? When can I see your pictures? What? Your pictures. You must have been done editing them by now. I thought you were just being polite. Didn't think you actually wanted to see them. I do. OK. I'll bring them on a stick next time I come over. They don't have a website. It's just a hobby. 
So we really have some kind of cloud-based backup, you know. Okay. I'll look into that. Confused. About why we're discussing how to back up your photos. Just a little bit. Prepare to be surprised by my academic recollection for a second. Now, I don't remember a lot from maths, but this one thing stayed with me for some reason. Sometimes we give these exercises, we are to calculate the data points of a coordinate system, right? For these assignments, when the data was correct, it would always result in a straight line. But the first time I did it, I calculated two dots. The teacher called them data points, but I prefer dots. I calculated two dots and drew a straight line between them. Easy. But the thing is, you can always draw a straight line between two dots, no matter where they are. Get it? The fact that I could draw a straight line between two dots didn't tell me if my calculations were good. Three dots, though. Oh, now, if they're not placed right, you can't connect them with a straight line. Nope, can't do it. Funny. I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast yesterday, but this I remember. It's more than I remember from maths, I'll give you that. For instance, you were acting a bit strange back when I asked to see your pictures a while back. Like, why? Fuck me if I know. Can't conclude anything from a single dot, but it is a dot. The beginning of the meeting tonight, I asked you who you thought killed my mum. Yeah, I was surprised by that. Thing is, it became quite clear you hadn't given it much thought. What do you mean? How could I have known you'd done it? I'm not saying you should have known, but if you were surprised by her death to the rest of us, you must have been pondering who was behind it. Yeah, I had thought about it. And I also think it wasn't appropriate for you to ask me in front of everyone like that. I just didn't expect you to ask me to 30 seconds into the meeting. I didn't think that that was going to be the, the, the leader of the conversation with, with, with me. I, I thought you was going to ask me about next month's run, which, if you ask me, I've got plenty of answers for you. But that one, I, I'm, I'm not the type to speculate. And I, I, no, I think I recognise exactly what you were going through. I remember standing at the blackboard, not having done your own work. Improvising nonsense. Do you remember Richie's last words? Well, second to last, he spent the very last ones begging for his life. I don't remember. Well, I do. It was her. Uh, I know it's her. Uh, my best friend. Mm, would you look at that? You've got to fucking be kidding me. Three years of service and three foot dots on a piece of paper, you think? I shot my mum. Shot her with this gun. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the utter lack of surprise on your face right now. And when have you ever known me to look surprised about anything? You were there. You followed us. Oh, fuck this. Look, we can sort this out real quick. Come back to my apartment. I'll show you the bloody bird pictures. You'll apologise and I'll forgive you because you you're just that nice. You were pictures, weren't you? I was so confused by the light. But then it hit me. Ah, these dots were connected. Your dots! Fuck your dots! Your whole mass metaphor makes no sense! Yes, no. No, metaphors never wear my strong suit. Oh, dear. Are you all right? You look a bit pale. Is your real name even Rose? Fuck Fucking sit down.
that thing ain't even loaded. Are you sure about that? Go on then. Prove it. Now sit the fuck down. What is your real name? Lily. Cheers. Was it hard? Learning to respond to a new name. In the beginning. But you got used to it. No, I got used to a lot of things. Oh, I bet you did. I guess you won't be overcome by compassion if I tell you I was just doing my job. <laughs> I've shot people so much less than what you've done. I never meant for that to happen to Richie. You did? No. Your mum, though, that's not on me. Why did you shoot her? I don't feel the need to discuss that with the likes of you. She loved you. She, but she... Oh, Lily. You're stolen. Not that I can blame you. Max, please, just listen to me. I know you lot traditionally offer an easy way and a hard way, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Please. Do you remember when we first met? At my flat. I guess all your 45 seconds. Please put the gun down. Drop it! They weapon. will shoot you. Drop it now! I said drop it! I'm sorry. Hello. Target down. Get his gun and call an ambulance. Lily, are you all right? Have you been hit? Andrew, secure the rest of the house. Hugh, try to stabilize Max. Lily, can you hear me? Let's get you out of here. We don't need you here right now.
Never thought that I would say I don't care how this one plays But today's the day I cave Inhale, exhale I am better off alone But I was always off with you I am clueless yet I know Exhale Could keep on falling in love and Breaking the pattern Cause I still don't trust myself with you